Welcome to the Eat Audio. Release your wolf. You there? Hey! You! We are here to issue a formal warning from the mayor of the town. Your vampire is no longer allowed to be within the confines of the town's perimeter. There's been an increase in animals showing up dead on the farms as well as at some corpses of wildlife. I don't think I need to tell you that those corpses can attract more lethal predators to the farms. We don't need to worry about any wolf packs or bears attacking the farms outside the walls. Whether or not they have been drained of blood does not matter. We know that demons are not responsible for this. The wards have been more than capable of keeping them back from town. And we believe the carcasses are being put there purposefully to cover up the farm animals being murdered. And also as bait to draw dangerous creatures towards us. And the only one that would have any reason to go after the farm animals like that is the monster you live with. Doesn't matter if we can prove it or not. We don't want him anywhere near the town. What if he had enough of farm animals and went after the humans in town? You can't promise us that he won't go after them. Don't think we didn't find the drained bodies of the bandits out in the forest. Bandits or not? Those were still human. Then you shouldn't have been out there in the first place. You know what happens to those that go into the forest alone? We are not here to argue semantics. These are your two options. You can denounce the vampire and come with us to the town. Or neither of you are ever welcome back again. Which means you will be alone out here with that monster. And you will need to leave this house as it falls within the parameters of the town. Then you can build another one. Away from town. This house is to be given to another farmer to take over the farm here. Someone who doesn't associate with monsters that like to feed on other humans. Does it look like we care what will happen to you? Announce the vampire, keep your house. Stick by the vampire, be forced out. It's your choice. And you have till the count of three to make it before we start throwing you and your stuff into the forest. Or how about a third option? Shit! Stay back, bloodsucker! Oh, shut up. It's not like I would want your stupid blood anyways. I bet it would be like sludge. You both need to leave my territory. Now! This is not- Yes, it is. Why do you think most of the bears and wolves stay away from our house? They know this belongs to something more powerful than them. A bigger predator. Which is why this farm does so well. You make us leave, we'll set up another farm that will be prosperous. But I can assure you, any farmer that you set up here will be killed off or scared off by what is out there. Our wards will help. Your wards only help with demons. What about werewolves? Witches? Other vampires? You would be leaving them exposed with how far they are away from the town center and the walls. Speaking of town perimeters, we aren't in it. That's a lie. Really? The wards stop right outside our door, which is where the town ends. It really is, Little Light. I did a test last night after you told me about the increased wards. What the town elders didn't tell you is that they made sure not to include our house in that perimeter. They already pushed us out. So, that order is null and void. Fuck you. We need this house and farm more than you do. 
And you have access to it whenever my little light brings in crops to the market to trade. You'll only lose it if you keep her from going and trading. And that will be your own fault. Doesn't matter. This farm will belong to the town and... I have been trying to remain civil with you. Your order, as I've explained before, is void. You try and take our home away from us. I'll show you the real monster that lives here. A monster that you might want on your side in the coming days. Because I assure you that I have not attacked any of your farms. Don't forget, I am not the only monster out in these woods. I'm just the one that will think twice because of my light. Before draining you dry of sludge you call blood flowing through your veins. Now, get the fuck off of my property and don't come back. Sorry, my little light. I wanted to make sure the sun was completely down before coming out to deal with those ass. What? What's that look for? Little light, they were about to kick us out of our home. Something that they had no right to do. So what if I scared them a bit? They had no right to be on our property like that. No. Oh. I haven't been attacking the farm animals. You know that. Not since the last time I got in trouble with those stupid humans from the market. Something else must be causing trouble. And since I'm the only monster they know, they blame it on me. Typical. I'll go out tonight and see if I can find a scent of anything. Not like I give two shits about the town, but if something is traveling around our home, I want to know. What's wrong? No, I wasn't lying. Our house is not in the perimeter of the town's wards. I checked. It's all right. We'll be okay. I can find a way to put up our own wards, and we don't need to worry about it. We'll be all right, my little light. I will make sure of it. Besides... Because of the wards the town has put up, the demon horn seems to steer clear of this area anyway. Again, I'll have our own wards up before they ever realize where the border starts and ends. Nothing is ever going to hurt you. I won't let it. I wouldn't give too much mind about them not allowing you in the market. Our farm is one of the best and produces the most variety. I don't think they can afford not to let you trade at the market. Even if they don't like who you're living with. Hey, hey, I promise we're gonna be okay. And if we need to move, we move. Maybe further up the mountain and away from these idiots might be better. Let's not worry about that right now. Need help with the weeding? I see you got a good start in it, but there's still quite a bit left. Here, here, here. I'll get this side and you can finish up the area that you were doing and then go relax. Don't worry, little light. I promise everything is going to be all right. 